Hello and welcome back to another Tasty Blender tutorial. Today we're taking a look at something I did on my Instagram a while back, or rather a couple of days ago, which was an animation with a gun that when it shoots, it shoots uh, lots of petals and butterflies. And some of you guys were really interested in how those butterflies were made. Today I'll show you it's a dead easy technique with the particle system and a wave modifier mega easy to create we'll be looking just at the actual animation part so we won't be doing any texturing or lighting or whatever i have other tutorials for that you can check them out on the screen or if you wish you can let me know by liking this video that you really wish to see a part two of this how to develop the idea further so we can do a part two let's go to the video so first things first we need to set up our butterfly just go shift a image images as planes i have one on my desktop which was like a monarch butterfly i'm just gonna turn it around so we can see what he looks like this is what i'm working with if you don't have the images as planes go under your preferences under add-ons and i think if you type image you should see the import export import images as planes when you have this you can just go into edit mode and control r and then set up let's say one cut in the middle i found this butterfly texture on textures.com was for free but you can also find it anywhere else as long as it's a png with alpha transparency gonna go under my modifiers add a subdivision surface gonna increase the viewport let's say to three maybe four and i'm gonna add a wave so now if i press play my butterfly starts doing this you can then play around with the speed. So if you want to have him wave his wings a bit more, you can also adjust the height so it's not as dramatic or you can increase it even further so it's a bit more dramatic. I usually leave the speed at 0 0.3 and the height at 0 0.5. You can also try with the normals, ticking the normals. Sometimes it creates a bit of a different effect, but like I said, this is, this is just for this tutorial so we won't be complicating too much. W to shade smooth, so we have a nice smooth surface. Our butterfly is done. I'm just gonna rename him to butterfly. And that's gonna be it for our butterfly. I'm gonna move this bad boy to the left, add a mesh plane, and this is going to be our particle system. Let's move it to the left again. I have it right there. I'm just gonna go under my particle system, particle system setup. Now, if I press play, I can see it's functioning. There's a couple of things we need to do. First off, render, render as object, and we are going to choose the instance object to be our butterfly with the eyedropper. I'm going to shorten my length of the animation to about 100 frames, so the end is going to be 100 frames, and I'm going to increase the lifetime to 100. So that means it's the lifetime of each particle is going to be 100 frames. Let's adjust the scale a bit. Let's make them a bit bigger. And let's add a bit of variety by adding some scale randomness. But they are still very linear. There's not much scattering going on. So I'm going to go under rotation. And I'll just turn the randomize phase around and the randomize of the velocity and hair as well as well as I'm going to take dynamic and under physics, I'll go to deflection size deflect like that. So this is going to be our basis. Now we want them to be fluffy. We want them to be free fly in the air. So what we need to do field weights, turn off the gravity to zero. So that means they start to just float. Another thing we can do is adjust the velocity of our normal. So five meters per second means that the butterflies will shoot out a bit more directly. So we have them like this. Now, the biggest part in the animation that I did was the scattering type of effect. And the way I did it or I approached it was I added a force field, which was a force field turbulence. So this, I'm just gonna go under the strength and increase the strength to 10. So if I press play, I can see that they, when they approach, they start to scatter around. Now you can adjust this turbulence to be a bit bigger, let's say 30 or let's say 25, maybe something like that. But I'm still lacking that type of fluent, like they're trying to hold themselves together. I'll just add a force field vortex. Now if I press play, 
you can see that they start to follow this vortex and if i increase the strength you can see that they start to they start to rotate around our vortex that is also influenced by the turbulence if we go too strong with our vortex you can see everything just goes out of control so i would suggest using very conservative strength values for the vortex so it creates a nice little effect however there's another thing you can try and do now i'm going to press shift a at a camera so i can see what's happening in my scene i'll just move it back somewhere around here now i'm just going to play around a bit with the inflow of my vortex and you'll see what that does in a second so i'm pressing play and now if i increase the inflow you can see that it just calms down the whole animation if i leave it at two it's letting a bit more and you have different shapes being created all of the time which is really amazing so the last thing you can do is go back to your particle system and let's say we want a bit more of an explosion so i'm going to set the frame end to be two so that means that all of the particles will be done in about a frame or something so if i press that you see they just boom explode completely just going to go back and correct my inflow so i'm going to let my inflow a bit more loose and now you can see that they start to behave like they're a nice little company. Another thing you can do is lower the strength. And we can do one very simple thing, which is keyframe the inflow. So I'm just going to insert a keyframe there. When I see that they start to scatter a bit too much, I can put in the same keyframe. And I'm going to jump, let's say, a couple of frames ahead and then just increase the inflow to 2 and insert that keyframe too. Now, if you press play, you can see that they start distributing themselves. And when the inflow kicks in, they calm down. Sort of almost like a fake speed effect or fake slow speed effect. So really, really useful. Again, you can also do that with the turbulence. You can increase the size of the turbulence or you can increase the strength of the actual turbulence so it scatters them even more. But the thing is, you create this nice little cloud that's kind of almost organized. You can try with different techniques, with try with different forces. Uh, you can try object collisions, though with the particle objects that's currently in Blender, you would need to take a look at one of my previous tutorials, which was a 3D particle system using just vanilla settings to put self collisions. So yeah, that's gonna be it. Basically, that's the trick I've used for this animation. Very simple, just a wave modifier. You set up a couple of settings in the particle systems, make sure the gravity is turned off and voila, you have a nice cloud of butterflies. You can do that with basically any object that you want to have the illusion of movement. Because it's a huge cloud of butterflies, you won't be able to just focus on one singular one. You can also use bloom and blur effects to sort of get that feeling of like, okay, this is moving or this is actually real. So you can fake that by adding just a bit of uh, field of view and a bit of motion blur and you're good to go. So hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave also a comment. I always read those. I always appreciate those. Subscribe if you haven't yet because I put this type of content almost every Wednesday. Patreon coming up really soon so make sure to be on the lookout for that and if you create anything with the tutorials that I show you feel free to tag me in your creations at blataday on instagram so yeah that's gonna be it thanks again for watching and see you in the next one